This video is a review of the Champion 2800 watt inverter generator. I've been asked how loud the generator is, so I figured I'd do a short video, uh, kind of giving you an idea of how the generator works and what kind of sound I'm getting out of this generator. I used a DB app on my phone. I know it's primitive, but it was the best thing I could do to kind of give people a baseline of what the uh, sound levels are with the generator running. It's a uh, 32 foot crossroads sunset trail with a 15,000 BTU AC unit on the roof. The generator was broken in the day before, so you can see here, I'm touching the exhaust and the exhaust is cold. Um, simple to use, there's a uh, fuel switch. You can see there I'm turning the fuel switch on. There's an on and off switch, which I turned on there. And then there's the choke. Generator starts up first try. Um, Love it. I've used it quite a few times and I'm really happy. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking so you guys can hear how the generator starts up. Alright, warm pool. Not bad. I'm going to let the generator run for a little bit. It's, um, set 70. 9 decibels standing right at the generator. It's about 30. It's about, well, it's about 20 feet away. This part of the video I'm doing it with the generator without a load. I'll show you later the generator with the load and I'm using a tape measure so you can see exactly how many feet I am away from the generator. I'll let the generator warm up a little bit. Nice thing about it, you got the uh, 30 amp plug. Got the economy off because it's a uh, the AC unit's pretty powerful. Okay, AC's running. Go back outside. Top of it I'm at 82. Seventy three, like twenty feet away. And I'm at sixty three decibels inside with the AC running. And the generator is a couple feet away from the camper. If I come near my AC unit. I'm standing right at the exhaust of the generator facing it. I'm getting 81 decibels. Got a tape measure out. I'm at 25 feet.
this is get a reading now. Seventy-two. About seventy-two decibels. I want to try and see if I aim it away. What change it makes. You'll see here I'm showing this is uh, 65 decibels. The generator had been running this point an hour. So I'm just inside the front door and I'm getting 65 dBs on my primitive app here. For me, that's, uh, that's comfortable. The sound level was comfortable enough inside the coach where it wasn't going to be a bother and I could definitely sleep. And you can see there I was showing how close I was to the front door to the window. Voltage, 122 volts. Originally it was 124. Two volts drop, not a problem. Um, at 122, we're still within where we need to be to properly run everything in the coach. I was walking over to the thermostat there because I wanted to show that it was 76 degrees in the coach and it's 82 degrees outside. So it was cooling down the coach fine uh, with no problem. If I was going to be staying, maybe boondocking, I would try to put the uh, generator as far away as possible uh, from the coach, but again, 60 something, 60 something dB, 65 dB is fine. Uh, you'll see there, I walked over to the AC unit. It was about 70 decibels standing right underneath the AC unit, and I have a ducted AC unit, but that's where the main unit is in the uh, kitchen. Here, I walked over to the back, just inside my girl's uh, bunk room. 60, what I get, 63 dBs in the bunkhouse. Quiet enough where you can, you know, sleep the night with no, uh, with no problem. And you'll see here I was showing that the generator was only maybe six feet away. So obviously if you're going to be staying in it, I would keep the generator as far as possible. But as of right now, I'm extremely happy with the performance of this generator.